nothing was the same as Drake's third studio album released back in 2013, labelled by fans and artists alike as his best album to date. The best Drake album, nothing was the same. <laughs> okay, okay, you got, now I'm with you. I, I love that album. And even Drake himself agrees. My favorite Drake album is Nothing Was The Same. Yeah, and I feel that's like my that, favorite album. That does, really? Is that your favorite? Yeah. <laughs> nothing Was The Same is my favorite album is because of the fact that it was probably my most concise album. Within that concise offering was a lot of great shit. Amazing samples, necessary features, hit songs, and memorable lyrics. One of the worst sins in music is unnecessary features used to sell a record rather than improve it. This album doesn't do this, it doesn't need to. Drake is a very competent singer and accomplished rapper, so when we hear someone else, it's because it genuinely adds something else to the song. This album has hits. Billboard chart topping smash hits. The production is out of this world and sets the bar high for flipping samples, transitions between different beats and little excerpts or monologues added in that sound like they had been there all along. Are you enjoying yourselves? What makes this album special is that it didn't just fit into a pre-existing sound, but it created its own. The reversed pianos and underwater washed out tones helped give Nothing Was The Same a sound we had never gotten before. Combined with classic hip hop sampling helped make this album ahead of its time in 2013 and a timeless piece of music today. I feel as though this album belongs somewhere between Drake's prime and beginning of his musical career. The reason Drake has been able to stay relevant for so long is because of the constant evolution of his music. Working with up and coming artists, taking what they have and adding to it, often being labelled as a culture vulture by critics over the years. If evolution is the key to surviving in this day and age, then Drake is a chameleon, able to change his colours and adapt to any given environment musically. But nothing was the same and the projects that came before it were Drake's true sound. A sound we haven't heard much of since these albums came out almost a decade ago. Perhaps one of the most impressive parts about this album and Drake as an artist is the ability to switch from a thought-provoking rap verse to a catchy, well-sung pop chorus. This album has something for everyone, every vibe, every situation. With only a handful of features, this is a proper Drake album, with the spotlight firmly on him for almost the entire time. However, with the Blueprint series, we aim to shift the spotlight from Drake to the clever individuals behind the music, showing you the ins and outs of the production behind these prestigious albums and what goes into creating the sound we eventually hear. This is the Blueprint, the series in which we take an artist, genre, album, or even producer and give you the information on how to create a beat for them. Welcome to episode one of the Drake Blueprint, in which we're covering the album Nothing Was The Same, brought to you by our sponsor, Tracklib the number one online marketplace for finding and flipping samples, giving you, the viewer of the Blueprint series, a free 30-day trial and 15 download credits so you can give sampling a try for yourself. Just click the link below in the description and we will talk more about that later on in the video. The best place to start is with Drake's number one producer, 40, aka Noah Shabib, who has been working with Drake since his first mixtape and still to this day. The original Drake sound we all know and love peaked making this album. Pioneered by Noah Forty Shabib, the lo-fi underwater sound was strongest here. This is a key ingredient that makes this album what it is, and the simplicity of it makes it all the more genius. People usually assume that it's a, a low-pass filter, um, and then I'm just rolling off all the top end, but for the most part, I'm actually degrading the sample rate, so I'm removing those frequencies from the top end. They're not even getting sampled in the first place. They don't even exist. This is my melody. Notice how it's smooth, but we are hearing a lot more frequencies in the high end than we want. Here's how you achieve the underwater effect in FL Studio. Open your sample in Edison Audio Editor and change the sample rate here. Confirm by clicking resample. I think somewhere between 1.5K and 2.5K is the sweet spot. Now our sample is washed out and sounds much more authentic and wavy. There is a defined space on all of these beats carved out with clever tricks from the producers. Drake is always the focus and dominates the tracks without you ever noticing. Another key ingredient that makes this album a classic hip hop album is the sampling. Two standout samples for me are the Ellie Goulding Pound Cake sample and the Whitney Houston Tuscan Leather sample. Coming off the last record, 
I'm getting 20 million off the record just to off these records, nigga. That's Both of which are sampled by Drake's closest producers, Forty and Boy Wonder. The final key ingredient is reversing. This project features reverse vocal chops, pianos, drums, pretty much everything, and it works so well. This is the B section of my beat. It's the perfect opportunity to add in some reverse drums for a switch up. All we need to do is render out my kick sound and reverse it, giving us this reversed drum texture. We don't even need to EQ it, the frequency is perfect. All of that combined makes up most of the beats on the album and creates an authentic and unique hip hop sound that easily blends with other genres that Drake flips between. Bearing all that in mind, there is one more thing that makes these beats work so well, and it's space. The beats are all fairly simple, however the art of making something truly simple but impactful is an art itself. Simplicity with authenticity at the same time is so difficult. So to make something simple but good is extremely difficult. But simple usually translates to real because there's not too much, it's not overdone. Overall, Nothing Was The Same is my favourite Drake album and has been for a long time. Let me know which Drake album you like the most in the comments down below and which one I should cover on the next episode of the Drake Blueprint. Okay, so you guys would have heard a bit of a sneak preview with this beat during the intro of this video. So we're starting off with a sample for this one. This sample is just perfect for Drake. It just fits the vibe. It ticks all the boxes. It's exactly what we need. If you're looking to flip some samples just like this one, then you need to check out Tracklib. Tracklib is the go-to platform for producers who want to find, flip, and clear samples. They have an easy to use website that gives you instant access to over 80,000 samples. My favorite feature on Tracklib is the different collection of samples for various artists or producers. Check out this collection full of samples you can flip for a Drake type beat. Tracklib are massive supporters of this channel and make videos like this possible. So go ahead and click the link below, sign up free for 30 days with 15 download credits and give sampling a try for yourself. A massive thank you to Tracklib for sponsoring this video. Let's make this beat. So first of all, we got to get it into a tempo that we want. I'm going to be going for 93 BPM. The drum bounce is what's gonna give this beat the vibe I'm going for. So I wanted to get that in early. So I'm in the mood drum kit, choosing my sounds. We're gonna be using sounds that don't have much high end. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using an 808 sound for my snare. So it's pretty unorthodox, but as you can see, it's working nicely. With this kind of beat, you wanna keep the bounce very repetitive. So every two bars needs to be basically the same, just maintaining a steady groove. Make sure that kick sound is punching super hard. You want it to really cut through the mix and stand out and drive the beat. If you want to get some of the drum sounds I'm using, click the link down in the description and check out my mood drum kit. Now, going back to what we spoke about in the intro, one of the key ingredients to Nothing Was The Same is decreasing the sample rate of your melodies. Make that underwater sound that 40 is so famous for. So just like that, our A section of our beat is basically done. Very simple. Like we said in the intro, simple but impactful. This beat is definitely very, very impactful and bouncy. So we're gonna be using a plugin here called Melodyne and it's gonna scan our sample and let us know all of the notes and where they are so that we can add our own bass or melodies to it accurately. Kicking off our B section here, we're gonna be reversing our sample with gross beat just to give it a slightly different vibe. By 
final touch is going to be pitching it down an octave just to really make loads of room for vocals. So let's take a listen to our A and B sections together. Check out that transition, not too smooth right now, but we're going to fix it up. So to really slow down our B section here, I'm going to reverse the kick sound like I showed you guys in the intro. Very simple, just render it out, reverse it. And that's going to really slow down the vibe and give us those nothing was the same kind of feels. And to top it off, we're just going to add a little bit of reverb to it as well to add to that ambience. Time to add in a bass of our own now. I'm going to be using Omnisphere. One of my favorite sounds in here is called Growler Moog Bass. Now this is a subtle change and you might not even notice it in the final product, but I'm just putting two B bass notes in there. Very simple, but it really adds to the vibe on that second half of our B section. Real quick, here's another texture from the Moog drum kit. And I couldn't help but feel like it was missing that bounce. So I've just added in a little snap. Making a slight change here to our bass. I just wanted to add one of these little slide notes in here. Decapitator is a distortion plugin that I'm going to be using on the bass to make it stand out much more. And remember in the intro we spoke about little excerpts and monologues and stuff that have been added into Nothing Was The Same. Well, I found one myself. I'm going to put it in here now. I also managed to make a little vocal chop out of it. So that's in there as well now. So this is our final beat. I've taken an acapella from the song From Time. So you can really hear Drake on this beat. I think it sounds fire. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I needed to hear that shit. I hate when you're submissive. Passive aggressive when we're texting. I feel the distance. I look around and peers and surround me. These niggas tripping. I like when money makes a difference, but don't make you different. Started realizing a couple places I could take it. I want to get back to when I was that kid in the basement. I want to take it deeper than money, pussy, vacation. And influence a generation that's lacking the patience. I've been dealing with my dad speaking a lack of patience. Just me and my old man getting back to base. We've been talking about the future and time that we wasted When he put the bottle down, girl, that nigga's amazing Well, fuck it, we had a couple Coronas We might have wrote a white paper, just something to hold us We even talked about you and our couple of moments He said we should hash it out like a couple of grown-ups You a flower child, beautiful child, I'm in your zone Looking like you came from the 70s on your own My mother is 66 and a favorite line to hit me with Is who the fuck wants to be 70 and alone Y'all don't even know what you want from love anymore I search for something I'm missing and disappear when I'm bored But girl, what qualities was I looking for before? Who you settling for? Who better for you than a boy, huh? So, that's our first beat of the episode completed. That one was heavily inspired by the song From Time. And we incorporated all of the key ingredients that make up Nothing Was The Same. And it sounds dope. If you want to get the sounds used to make that beat, there'll be a link down in the description. But I'm not playing around this episode. It's time to up the levels a bit with this next beat. Let's jump into FL Studio and get started. So for this second beat, I'm going to be taking inspiration from Tuscan Leather and sampling Whitney Houston. So I can't really play too much of this sample for copyright reasons, but right now we're just going through it, looking for parts that are great for sampling. I'm looking out mainly for big kind of vocal riffs, stuff that will sound good reverse. 
Here I'm just using a website called TuneBat to look up the BPM and key of the sample so that we can then start to flip it. So I've got all the chops here now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to load the sample into Edison and we're going to start a process in which we're going to set markers which are going to basically automatically chop the sample to our BPM so that we can then just move those chops around and create our sample flip. I'm also going to be using a plugin called Slice X to then load our chops into and then we can start moving them around and creating our sample chop. I've got a couple phrases here that I'm playing around with just trying to create a vibe. So I pitched the sample up a little bit and here's a few chops I'm starting to like. I'm starting to get a little bit of a bounce going here. I can already hear the drums, so yeah, we're nearly there. So I decided to switch up my tactic in flipping this sample from trying to just flip it inside of the piano roll to actually just rendering out a few of my favourite phrases and then you'll see what happens next. So those phrases that I chose to chop turned out to be the right ones because as you can hear when they're reversed they sound really cool and all we got to do now is put the pieces of the puzzle together and we're going to have a crazy sample flip right here. When you're flipping a sample it makes it a lot easier if you flip it to a drum bounce so I went into a beat butcher drum loops folder and found this little break here and that's what I'm going to chop the sample to. So after hours and hours of messing around with this sample, I finally managed to find a little pattern here that's fairly repetitive and works really well. All the samples flow together nicely. To fatten my drums up a little bit, make them sound a bit harder, I'm using a plugin called Diablo. If you're wondering what I'm using for this synth bass, it's the same sound as the first beat, the Growler Moog bass from Omnisphere, and it really fills in that missing low end gap that we had before. And that's our main section of the beat done. Just like the first beat, super simple, not many layers in there at all. But we can't stop there, now it's time to work on our B section and I'm starting with just stretching out a nice little chop from my sample here. Once again, just like the first beat, we're also going to reverse some drum sounds as well. I decided for a breakdown section it could be kind of cool to half time the sample, so that's what I've done just here. And once again, we're referring to the key ingredients for Nothing Was The Same. And we're going to be decreasing the sample rate of our drums this time, not our melody. To make the initial drop a bit harder, I'm adding a riser, a low pass filter automation and also a siren noise. And as an outro, I wanted to have a few little synthy kind of accents. So we went into Analog Lab, found a few sounds, and yeah, here's what they sound like. And this is the final beat, this is the second one done. This one is heavily inspired by Tuscan Lev. I hope you guys can hear the inspiration. And yeah, I think it's really fire. This one took a lot of time. So yeah, I hope you guys like this one. Let me know down in the comments which beat is your favorite so far. But yeah, check it out.
Our second beat is now finished. I had to get a crazy sampled boom bap beat in this video, and I know that one didn't disappoint. For the third and final beat, I'm gonna slow things down a bit with a more chill hip hop beat, featuring some clean reverse piano melodies. If you're still watching and enjoying this series, then do me a favor and drop a like below. Let's get straight into it. Okay, so third and final beat. This one we're gonna be starting off with a piano. I'm gonna be using a MIDI from my brand new Blueprint MIDI kit, which you guys can get right now. The link is down in the description. There's over a thousand MIDIs just like this one. I've taken this little portion of the MIDI here and I'm gonna reverse it and just loop it over. It sounds super nice. And the best part about these MIDIs is that they are fully adjustable. You can change them. So I'm just changing this bass note from a B up a little bit because it's just a bit too low. So I found this drum break inside of a Beat Butcher kit and it's just super chill. So I'm just putting that in there. And of course, we're going to be decreasing the sample rate again on the drums. I just really wanted that subtle kind of background drum bounce. And this is the perfect effect to achieve that. Here we're just using a plugin called RC20 to give our melody a bit more of a vintage feel. I decided our chords weren't really enough, so I went back into the MIDI and I've added this little counter melody that I plan to reverse. Time to do the synth bass once again, and we're gonna be using Omnisphere Gralamook bass. And that's basically it, not much to show with this beat. It really just came down to, once again, a good melody, decent drum bounce, and a few little accents just to tie it all together. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me make these beats. And here's the final one to listen to. So that's the first episode of the Drake Blueprint done. Uh, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, a lot of time and effort went into making this one, like over two weeks worth of like work every single day. And I put a lot into this one. So yeah, like I said, I really hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you're not already, because there's plenty more where that came from. Um, we're going to be dropping these every two weeks or every month, uh, depending on how things work out after this video. But just know there are much more coming soon and yeah I'm, I'm super excited to deliver that content for you guys i'm sorry for my absence on youtube once again if you're if you've been a subscriber of the channel for a while you know that this is quite unlike me things are going to get better from here um i just really need your guys support on this um massive shout out to tracklib for sponsoring this video couldn't do it without you guys really appreciate it and yeah make sure you follow me on the gram at prod by jack and i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day